Well, this match is from the third quarter of the draw. And this is for the right to play against the European Games silver medalists, Ben Lane and Sean Vendy of England. You can see that the former world champions and winners last week in Denmark, Aaron Char and Soweek, the number five seeds, gave a walkover earlier today against Commando and Martin of Indonesia. I haven't actually discovered yet what the reason for the withdrawal was, but as soon as I know, I will let you know. Well, listen to the roar from the fans as the home pair of Christo and Tommy Junior Popov make their way onto centre stage. The brothers, the left and right handers, and the same for the world champions in as far as a right and a left hander are concerned. Of course, the Koreans are not brothers. Both the French players played earlier today. Christo Popov lost his first round match to Lo Ken Yu. In fact, I think that was yesterday. Uh, whereas if you were with us earlier today, you will have enjoyed watching Thomas Junior Popov uh, beat the former champion, the 2017 winner, Kidambi Shrikant, in two straight games. But as you can see, this right, is a first the meeting box. between these Sail, two pairs. Red or black? Uh, black for you. It's red. So to receive? So they choose to receive. Mr. To serve, which side? That side, have a good match. So the Popov brothers get to serve and choose ends. So the left-hander, Kuristo Popov, is the younger of the two brothers. He's only 21 years of age. Uh, born in Sofia, the capital city of Bulgaria. 179, that equates to 5 foot 10. Actually went up one place in the world ranking yesterday to 37, but as you can see, they have been 17 places higher. Now I've got them down, have been as high as 20 in the world rather than 28. That, I think, uh, was uh, from the beginning of October last year. They were number 20. Uh, so to Kangming Hyuk, making his third appearance here at the French Open, but it's only their second appearance as a pair. That equates to six foot in height from Suwon in the northwest of South Korea. And they're one place down from their career as a partnership. They were number four for six weeks from the end of August earlier this year. Remember, as world champions, they will get an invitation to the World Tour Finals. And of course, Saw Sian Jay, the 26 year old, turned 26 last month from uh, Buan County in North Jiola Province. He won two gold medals at the recent World Championships, the first male player to do so since Kim Dong Moon in 1999 at the World Championships, which also were staged in Copenhagen. So our court officials from the Netherlands and from Germany. Ready to play. And our umpire. calling for players to get ready for the start of this match. Well, as far as the Popov brothers are concerned, as we look at the Korean coach, yeah, there's Toma Popov on the left, father of the boys. He was an international badminton player himself. Now, I was going to tell you, as far as they're concerned, uh, they were bronze medalists at the 
European Games in Poland in the men's doubles, and they were both medalists in singles as well. The left-hander, Christo, was silver medalist in the men's singles and lost out to Victor Axelsson. He was again an 8-2 up. And yet Axelsson, the Olympic champion, came back to win. So the Popoff brothers nearest to us, Christo and Toma Jr. against the reigning world champions. That's gone wrong from Sosian J. Well, they've played 16 world tour events so far this year, the Popoff brothers, part of this French Open. And they've lost in 16 first rounds. So given that statistic that, and the Service fact that Two they're right. playing against the reigning world Service champions, I think we can one. safely say that the Koreans are overwhelming favourites for this one. But you never know in sport, and you never know with the home supports for the French combination. Extraordinary things do happen. Flick serve. Oh, yes, well taken. From Saucy and Jay. Now he's been in a Two, final of the French three. Open before. That was the mixed doubles final five years ago with his World Championship gold medal winning partnership with Che Yu Jung. But they didn't win the French Open. Lost in the final to Sheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Xiong. Once they get on the attack, the Koreans, they really do look very impressive indeed. Chuck continually going in a downward direction throughout the entirety of the rally. There's only been one player representing France in a semi-final or better at the French Open since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour back in 2007. And that was Pi Hong Yan, who was in the women's singles final in 2007. And a semi-finalist in two years later.
service over. Nice idea, but Six, in all honesty, four. the lift had been so short, I don't know why he didn't give that a big thump. Smash probably would have been a much better idea. We can all be wise after the event, so can't we? Service fault called again. Service over. That's the second time he's Five, been faulted. Seven. And I think being Six, called on his serve has actually disturbed Kang. restore his confidence. Eight, six. Oh, good serve. Yeah. And then a delightful Nine, little net six. shot from Source Young Jay. It's a fabulous serve. Well taken. Ten, six. Yeah, and the Koreans have rather silenced the home fans here. And to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage. Seconds, court one, twenty seconds. Eleven six. Play. He's looking Six. sharp. Well, he didn't want the shuttle changed. Umpire agreeing with Tom Junior pop off. Brilliant. The brothers just simply 14, couldn't deal six. with the pace 
and the onslaught of attacking shots. Eight straight points. Had broken the strings of his racket. That's why he messed 16, up that last six. shot. It's now 10 straight points Seven, for the three, world champions. Six. soon as far as the home fans and the pop-off brothers are concerned. Uh, that's great Eight, anticipation 17. from Cristo. Well played. the Koreans to make the kill at the front of the court. 18, eight. and there's just simply no way to get out of the defensive play there. the idea of Christo blocking the shuttle and trying to move forward, trying to take away the net play from his opponents, but it's a, that's a, a difficult task. There, yeah, look at that. And now game point game opportunities, point ten. 10 of them for the reigning world champions, Kang and Su. placement of the smash 12, making it very very awkward for the left-hander 
Good play from Tomer Jr. Aim towards the left shoulder of the left-hander. That's clever. 13, 20. Three game points have come and gone. Finds the back corner. 13, 20. Five game points have been well saved by the Popoff brothers. But not a six. 21-15, opening game to the reigning world First champions. Game won by Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. 21-15. Kang Min Hyuk and So Siang Jae. One game to the good, 21-15 in 15 minutes. Seconds, court one, twenty seconds. Having saved initially five game points, the Popoff brothers, they demonstrated to themselves that they could live with the reigning world champions. But they've got to use that sort of intensity right from the start of this second game. Takes a long time on that serve, so it's young Jay. Three, one. Only the second European player ever, this young man, a left-hander pop-off brother, to contest the men's singles final at World Junior Championships. The first man Four. from Europe to do one. that was, of course, Victor Axelson back in 2010 in Guadalajara. Out. Mm. 
service over. Service error now Two, from Saucy and Jay. Yeah, so for the record, Crystal, Crystal Popoff reached the final of the World Junior Championships. Service over. In Kazan in 2019. Five, two. Kazan in Russia. Uh, he's lost all rhythm on his serve Three, now. Kang. Five. Having been faulted twice. on court number two. Brothers into the lead. Clearly, in. run of four straight points. Service over. Seven. All. Oh, string's gone again in Crystal. In his racket. Off he goes. Oh, he did well. But not well enough. cannot afford to defend the Popoff brothers. The attacking play of the Koreans is simply too good. 11-7 interval. 11-7 at the mid-game interval in favour of the reigning world champions, Kang and So. Court one, 
20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So, 11-7 the advantage, having already won the opening game. Number four seeds from Korea, reigning world champions. And I think the Popoff brothers need to change the game plan. Oh, they're just defending, defending. Service over. Well, they got away with it on that occasion. Eight, the long 11. term in the match, I don't see that as a way to win. Decision there from Kenley Fiat. I, I like the idea there, nine. though, from Christo Popov. Wanting to block and move forward, so instead of just lifting, he was looking to be creative and force the Koreans to lift the shuttle. Service call, call. Two so eyes. Call now Service on Jay. Difficult to tell. Eleven, thirteen. over 14 11 Not decisive enough at the front of the court, Toma Jr. beginning to slip away from the home pair here. Just too much attacking play and pressure from the Koreans. Service over. 
Uh, what a difference when the French combination are hitting in a downward direction. What a difference, the attacking play from the Popov brothers. In. There's a challenge here, though. No, I think it may have gone a little bit long. have admitted that 14, the shuttle touched them. Now, oh, that's very sporting. I love to see that. Well done, uh, Kang Ming Hyuk and So Siang Jae. Great sportsmanship. That's gone long at the back line. Well, now there's a challenge from the Popoff Pop brothers. Pop challenges called out. Oh, I saw that as out, but I'm quite a way from the court. No one better to see the nine than the nine judge. Way out, my challenge goodness me. Unsuccessful. Why not? Did challenge they challenge remaining. that? Service over. 17, 14. Play. Focus. Well, it's absolutely imperative with time running out so that the pop off brothers close down this deficit. There's only three points in it. There are only three points as well from losing the match. Service over. Yeah. 19, 19, 19. Oh, that was going wide. well worked by Service the Koreans summer. and a nice 20, way to bring up match point, match point opportunities four of them to be precise okay 
game. 21-15, 21-16, the margin of the victory in the end for the reigning world champions, Kang Min Kiak and So Siang Jae over the Popoff brothers from France. Well, having looked way Match out of it at 10.20 down in the opening game, they probably saved five game points and then played much, much better in the second game. Only 34 minutes in total. Thank you for being honest. Thank you. And the French Open over this year for Christo Popov. Oh, okay. His brother, Toma Junior, will play in the second round of the men's singles tomorrow. But there is confirmation that the reigning world champions can and sort safely through to the second round. 21-15, 21-16, the margin of their victory over the Popov brothers from France. So as they take leave of centre stage, that's it for today here in the Oren. Second round action tomorrow. We've got two court coverage. We're a little bit later than today. So 12 noon local time, that's 1000 GMT. So from all of us here until tomorrow, and especially from me, Jill Clark, bye for now. <laughs>